Hello, welcome. My name is Gabriel, and I've brought too many books to college. So I spent the last number of hours assembling this bookshelf, and I don't know if I did it that well or not, so it could collapse on me at any moment, killing me instantly, so stay tuned. And I have just taken all of the books that I brought with me out of their boxes. Now, this is not all of my books. I still have I think one or two more boxes that are going to be coming in the next couple weeks. But this is what I needed with me right away. I, I needed all of these. So I've already sorted them into their own little piles. The way that I sort my books is by genre. I know that the typical booktube thing to do is to sort them by color, but I was reading an interview with Hanya Yanagahara the other day where she said that anyone who organizes their books by color doesn't care what's actually in them. And while I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that, I do want Hanya Yanagahara's approval. So, this bottom shelf here is going to be my records. I'm not going to do a record collection because it's just a bunch of show tunes and you don't care. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So, there is no way for you guys to know what a precarious setup I have for my phone right now, but it is... Okay, so on this top shelf, I'm thinking poetry and theater. Yeah, let's do that. Poetry, theater. Let's throw in short stories, too. What if theater got its own shelf, and then I did poetry and essays and political... No, that doesn't make sense. G-H-F-J-K. K-L. Love it, fam. This is by various authors. It's my high school literary magazine. We'll throw that there where no one can see it. Clap, and then which meant. So that's all the poetry, and now we have plays. We have an S. Sondheim! <laughs> Into the woods, see the king, see the king! Let's do the H's next. H, and then we have Ibsen. Oh, uh, where's Kushner? Tony. This is really just me exposing myself for not knowing the alphabet without singing the song. S. Shakespeare, comes before Sondheim. Masterclass by the late, great Terence McNally. P-Q-R-S. Okay, now I'm thinking that the next shelf should be nonfiction. And I honestly don't know how to sort this one because it's not like I can do alphabetical by author because some are biographies, some are autobiographies, some are about different events, some are about theater. Actually, no, wait. <laughs> These, book, these three books are about acting, so I'll just shove them on here. I'll make room for them. I'm just readjusting the shelves because I didn't plan well at all. Good thing you're resting on my toolbox. I hope you're enjoying this bookshelf assembly ASMR. Okay, I have now taken this shelf down a peg, so hopefully I have room for A Challenge for the Actor by Uta Hagen. I actually have read this one. Nonfiction, cool. We have a ton of like United States history books um, interspersed in here, so maybe I'll just do a section like that. There's, I have to take this one down a peg too. Because I am terrible at planning. I know that the nature of this video is supposed to be just like a bit more chaotic than usual, but I still feel so lost without a script. Like, who am I talking to? Oh. Now we got American history out of the way, let's do, like, straight-up political writing. I think I got this for free. It was in a box outside of my school that said free books. Next, we will do essay collections and... And that's it. Okay, cool. Thanks for checking in. Here are my Caitlin Doty books, which I love with all of my heart. I actually just gave my dad a copy of Smoke Gets In Your Eyes for his birthday. Happy birthday, dad. He doesn't watch these. <laughs> this is signed, actually. I'm gonna show you. There it is. She drew that. Isn't it cute? I'll insert a picture of when I met her. Or, well, I forgot his essays. Sorry, bud. Then I have a little book about tea. I don't know what to do with it, so I'll just put it on the shelf where no one will find it. Let's move on to literary fiction. This shelf is not going to be big enough. We'll figure something out. Okay, I'm just going to pull the literary fiction books in front of me and sort them into little piles. It was given... Oh, 
A fun fact about this book, Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, it was given to me by my freshman English teacher. Um, she lent it to me so that I would read it, and I never did, and I never gave it back. So, sorry Miss Davis, I'll get it to you someday when I actually read it. Wait, I'm currently reading this. I don't need to put it on there. The Beast, Joyce. Oh wait, I have more James Joyce. Here's my J pile. BB, Brit Bennett. It actually says BB on the cover. Tolstoy, my boy, Celeste Ng. I found this at the thrift store the other day. I've been wanting to buy it, but I didn't want to buy it new, and then I just found this for a dollar. More Toni Morrison, more Toni Morrison. Mm. I've missed you. It's been locked up in a box, and I just, I'm glad to have a mercy back out in the open air. Okay, time to get sorting. Douglas Adams goes first, followed by, I think James Baldwin, followed by my Agatha Christie pile. Honestly, wait, Douglas Adams' books are really tiny, so I'll stack them on top of my Christie. We have to be economical with how I organize this shelf because I do not have a lot of space. Shelf one of fiction done, and so many more books to fit onto this one shelf. We're gonna have to reconfigure this whole thing. This copy of Dubliners can fit on this little pile of tiny books. So I will do that. What if I had a Toni Morrison shelf? That way I don't have to separate all of her books. I'll keep it somewhere on display. And then this lone Sylvia Plath can squeeze in right here. This is not gonna work. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to reorganize this top shelf so that I can like combine some of this action. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, so we're just gonna stack the plays. Oof, we're just gonna have to take these out of alphabetical order and stack them based on size. Okay, that's as tall as that's gonna go, so I'm gonna have to put these three little guys, I guess, on top here. Okay, we're gonna combine poetry, theater, and essay collections up here. I guess The Federalist is an essay collection. I don't really want to take it out of my American history section, but it's a sacrifice we're gonna have to make. If it even fits, good lord. And then, who knows what I want to do. What if I just combined all of these into one shelf? <laughs> Would you bear with me on that? Maybe into a stack. A stack of nonfiction, and then I just have the rest, the fiction, start on this shelf. <laughs> okay, wait. I feel like I didn't even save that much room. This doesn't look that different. No. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to separate short story collections from novels and put short story collections. And I can put graphic novels up here. I'm a genius, good lord. The power of my mind astounds me. I'm gonna call this a short story collection just because it's not a narrative. But it kind of is, that's a novel, Never mind. that's stupid. Chekhov stories, and then, where's Dubliners? Kafka stories, Lovecraft stories. I'm probably not even in the frame for half of this. It's I think that this video isn't going to make sense as a like long form coherent thing. It's just going to be a montage of me going crazy. It's raining. Good lord. We don't get rain back home. I think I can swing it putting the rest of my books on this bottom shelf and then I'll just store my records somewhere else. Okay, this bottom shelf is going to be kids books. You know the drill, why I stand alone, why a series, middle grade series, all that jazz. I'm just doing a stack of like children's book series so that I can have the standalones take up most of the shelf. Ozma of Oz, isn't this a pretty cover? Ooh, what a pretty addition. Ah, here's a paperback copy of I'll Give You the Sun. And then I have the dust jacket from my first edition hardcover that Autumn stole. A Sarah J. Mass, which I haven't read, probably never will. These Lois Lowry books are also signed. What happened to the Legend Trilogy? Are they behind me? Yes, they are. Fit that, and then these, and then this, and it might just work. If we're crazy enough to imagine for a second, to imagine a better world in which things go right for me. Mm. Don't fall. Nothing falls. Nothing's allowed to fall. Yes. Okay. You're with me. You're following. You get it. You understand. This is also a series. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> great, it looks great. T-book goes here because it's cute. 
I'm gonna find some place to put the Toni Morrison collection because I will be acquiring the rest of her books over the next year or so. And I want them to have a nice little place for a display. So yes, this is my finished bookshelf. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like with nothing in the way, just the whole thing. Um, thank you for following along on this chaotic journey. I have no clue what this video is going to shape up to be, but, you know, I, I just missed filming and I wanted to get something out even in the midst of all this chaos. Um, I will see you guys next time.